Hey guys, checking in for a daily log for Thursday, February 20th, the year 2020. Um, so if you're into numerology, there's lots of zeros and twos. What does it all mean? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so uh, Thursday was a really good day. Um, Thursday schedule for, let me just show you what it looked like. Thursday was a light workout day, and so it was also an intermittent fasting day. So I fasted from the evening, through the night, through the morning, um, and then before I ate anything, I did a light workout, which is light weights. Um, I do have this like, full body muscle warm up that I call it. Cause it's not like multiple sets, multiple reps. Well, I do like 10 reps of different exercises for my whole body. And then I did a short run for me right now. That's two miles. Um, and I did that before eating. And this is a trick that I learned from the, uh, the, uh, the glow book where you do this for autophagy. Um, and so uh, that really helps clean up your, your, your system. So, um, so I did that, felt completely normal while doing that. Most people, I mean, my, my apprehension before doing that was like, oh, I'm not gonna have enough energy and this and that, but you're not like doing a crazy workout. I'm just doing, it was a really light workout, but you're sweating, right? Um, and, then, uh, and then I ate. Um, and so I ate for breakfast. I had a, what am I calling this? A tofu scramble with cauliflower. And this is more of like a Tex-Mex style. You see the cauliflower in there. It had some avocados, etc. And these are the macronutrients for the salad. Plus I had a hot chocolate. So you can see i um, getting some, some of my, a lot of fat from the coconut manna and uh getting some carbs and you know micronutrients from from the chocolate and the rest is kind of just for taste um yeah so that was my into my supplements okay so that was my my meal and then after my meal i so that was about I think I finally ate around 11. So you can see I was, I worked out. Um, so hours, started working out around, probably around here. So 79, went up and down a little bit, but it's right around there. So my body was stabilizing, this is without any insulin. Um, and then I ate around here. So I went all the way up to a whopping 102 <laughs> after eating that meal, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool to be able to eat, um, you know, some carbs and a full meal, plenty of protein, right? Uh, for my recovery, for my workout. And, um, and only go up a few points and still feel really good and ener energized. So, so that was, my breakfast and then for lunch Instagram needs to fix these arrows if you're clicking on the right you should be going forward in time <laughs> and you already have this as that direction so it's it's very confusing so don't look at that that's for the uh, Friday so um, this this is my shake this is what lunch was um, so um, it you know makes about i was already eating it you can see it's a little hard to see but it makes about half of that blender pitcher and it's really tasty and really filling um it's i call it the chocolate fatty shake so it has pretty much what you see here add a little bit of omelet powder in it for some uh, vitamin c and antioxidants this is the highest um antioxidant um a plant or source that that exists and it it's um you know it's a clear winner by like multiple um what i think it's at least an order of magnitude like it's like way way more vitamin c and antioxidants than anything else anyway I added this in there the only downside of it is it has a very sour taste so i just put a little bit and i didn't even taste it when it's in the mix with all this other stuff so 
really cool. Um, uh, so avocado, the coconut. I have some of my my seeds here. Um, this is the flax milk with the protein added, and then the cacao for the chocolate flavor. Okay, so that was kind of my lunch meal. Um, you can see it's like it's packed with calories. This is a, a thousand calorie shake. Okay, so it's and it it's it it delivers right. I mean it it's filling and it lasts. Like I, I don't feel hungry in an hour or two. Um, had lots of protein because I used the protein added flax milk, low in carb, only 15 grams, um, and plenty of fat. So you're getting, we're getting 87 grams of fat in total from all of this. Um, and that's where my energy is coming from. Okay. So, you know, I'll burn through that really quick. Um, and I'll get most of my energy from the fat there. All right. Then we did some digestive, uh, supplements and chlorella. And you can see after lunch, so I did lunch around two because, yeah, because I finished my breakfast kind of late. So I did lunch around two, and then you can see I went down because <laughs> it was so low carb um, and my body was in the, that kind of mode um, just for, from having such a good night, a good night, and then a really good morning. And that the autophagy just burns through. This autophagy is really key. So then I went down after eating a light, a low carb meal. Um, let's see. And then for dinner, I ended with a salad. Yeah. For dinner, I did the cauliflower salad again. You know, we had this. A bunch of cauliflowers. That's why I'm eating a lot of cauliflower. I wanted to kind of get through it while it was still good and not waste any food. Um, I finished all the romaine, so I had some kale um, and then tofu for the protein, avocado for fat and energy, um, and the rest of these guys. You know, it's mostly micronutrients that I'm looking for, not macros. So um, this is my. You can see. Oh, and I also had celery with almond butter. So got a little bit more carbs and a little bit more uh, pro uh, protein and fat from almond butter. It's a good mix of all of that I mean, delivered through these celery sticks that I'm eating. And then the digestive supplements and chlorella. So uh, total fat here, it's a little bit of a lighter meal and it's before bed. So net carbs is only 22, uh, proteins 27, and total calories is uh, 7, 732. So what I like about this is, you know, I can eat, I think I stopped eating around 6.30 and I believe I did a walk. I'm, I'm not sure, um, but you can see my numbers just kind of staying right around where they were. So I'm pretty sure I did a walk, do a little bit of walking, but you can see guys that, I, mean, I think I have it in my calendar actually. Yeah, I think I did a light walk. Did not do one yesterday though. Let me fix this. Okay, so so I did a light walk, and um, you can see my numbers just barely even moved at all. They basically didn't move at all, right? They went up and down, fluctuated a little bit. They didn't really move, you know. I think I started eating around here. So eighty-seven. Let's call it ninety move 10 points okay <laughs> from the walk and then I'm back into the 90s you know as I'm sleeping so that that's the day for the glucose that's the day for the food and you can see from I'm, I'm starting to really get into my macro tracking here my total this is my totals for the day so I st you know even though I ate you know kind of light I had a tofu scramble for the morning I had a a shake for break for lunch and then a salad for dinner, right? I'm still getting 2,400 calories, and this is on my um, like autophagy day. It's kind of supposed to be a light lighter day in terms of calories. And this is coming off the rest day, which is kind of similar. It's, it's a it's a um, intermittent fasting day and a low, normal calorie day, right? for a sedimentary lifestyle or whatever. This is a little bit more. And then um, I'm following this day up with 
a heavy workout with heavy calorie day. Okay, so this was for Thursday though. Let's focus here for right now. Um, and I, I did zero insulin. I'll go through my experiments here. So for Thursday, I don't think I woke up with a lot of energy, um, but I did have good energy throughout the day. So this is like getting out of bed with good energy, like uh, like I did this morning. So this morning is Saturday actually, and I woke up early before my alarm clock at 5.20, right? So, um, myself a check over there. <laughs> um, I've been not doing the low fat, I've been doing a higher fat, lower carb, um, and that's been successful. Um, I believe I got eight hours sleep, I did not do naps. I did that, I, did, I haven't done that, I didn't do that. I did a run and a muscle warm up and a stretch and no exercise after breakfast and lunch and I just did a dinner one because I, I didn't need to for my numbers. Like that, the post meals are really for the numbers, uh, the glucose numbers. So, um, hydration, I did sun exposure. Man, I forget. That's why I gotta do these every day. I'm pretty sure I did that. I'm not sure. I've, I've been missing my sunrise and sunset. No, I remember now. It was it was a sunrise, and then it came for the sunset, and it was cloudy. So I'm not gonna count that. Um, let's see, placebo. Good morning. Um, yes, I did that during the sunrise. Into these guys. Thursday. Thursday, I did no coffee. I did do the chocolate. Not feeling stressed or depressed. Felt good. I was able to get some stuff. This is kind of work related, but that's um, it's good. Good progress there. My multivitamins. I don't think I did the night silver or night vitamins actually. Was not sick and did not have deep fatigue. I took zero insulin. Double zero. <laughs> um, and then my macros. Get my macros going, boy. So I did six eighty-seven fifty-three. Sixty-six. And then I did make sure that was right. That's for fat. Yeah. Twenty-six fifteen twenty-two. Protein. 36, 21, 27. Just getting a good amount of protein on those light days. And calorie. Calories. 9, 34, 10, 22. Okay. So I think, yeah, I think these light meals in the evening are doing good. They're really setting me up right. Um, Thursday night I did do these drops again. Because on Friday I had a um, ear appointment. Okie dokie. That's what we got for our experiments there. So you can see 
doing pretty good. You know, I think I can still do better in the sleep area. And that will impact this number. Um, where else am I? Missing X is right here. Um, and right here. I should either remove these or make them a thing. I should probably just make them a thing. Focus on them a little bit better. And these these things missing is okay. These are how I'm rotating my days. All right, so that those are my experiments. <clears throat> um, Thursday. So this is the first day I was doing this plan where I'm, I'm going through. I'm building out a uh, fasting glucose challenge. Um, and you can see Thursday was an amazing day. Thursday, I mean, to be able to stay this flat all day with very little exercise. I did light exercise in the morning and a walk at night. Like that's all I did. Um, and I felt fully satiated when I ate. Fully, just felt great, you know. And I had good energy, so I'm really happy with that. Um, Okay, and then energy was good, glucose was great, mood was good, and I was feeling good. So it was a really good day um, all the way around. Okay, and that will conclude our daily check-in for February 20th, 2020. All right, have a good day.